In fact, the first one that Lung Shell eliminated was European lighters, natural tobacco can't get a good flavor without a flame, and it has to be a low temperature flame. Lung Shell chose lighter as the source of the flame. How to choose between so many kinds of lighters, it is generally believed that European lighters are the best, in fact, the first one that Lung Shell eliminated was European lighters, European lighters have a big flaw, as it rotates, the size of the flame changes suddenly, however, every smoker's usage habits and angles are different. So the first one to be eliminated is European lighters, the second eliminated is the windproof lighter, it burns at a very high temperature and causes the flavor of natural tobacco to be very poor. The third to be eliminated is the flint lighter, because the action of turning the wheel and releasing the gas is very complicated. Lung Shell has to solve all problems with a single button. The fourth to be eliminated is electronic lighters, because the burning temperature of an electronic lighter is higher than that of a flint lighter. The diameter of the outlet hole of the electronic lighter is very small. In the case of the same flame size, the gas flow rate of an electronic lighter is much higher than that of a flint lighter, and according to Bernoulli's principle, the high flow rate of the gas attracts more air to participate in the combustion, this results in high temperature combustion, the arc spark generated by piezoelectric is very small, therefore, electronic lighters cannot be used in some harsh environments, most electronic lighters have more flammable and explosive propane in their gas, but these problems remain unsolvable, so, all lighters in the world were eliminated. The only way was to develop our own push button type flint lighter push button flint lighter have actually been in development for 100 years but no one has ever succeeded there are indeed some push button flint lighters on the market but they all have a common disadvantage that is it is easy to ignite and difficult to extinguish because these so-called push button flint lighters all use the ratchet mechanism it's a mincet there is friction between the ratchet and the pole this results in a very high push force requirement to reset the button but we can't use lubricating oil to reduce friction. This can cause slippage between the flint and the grinding wheel. In order to make a true low temperature burning lighter, we invested huge money. Constant improvement. Finally, mankind's first push button type flint lighter was born. Everyone needs to know. Before the 21st century, the lighter industry used to be one of the most profitable industries in the world. People over the age of 40 should remember the price of lighters when you were young. So for nearly 100 years, countless of the brightest scientists have been involved in the development of push-button type flint lighters. But only the loom shell really succeeded. But we have a new problem. Lighters are difficult to mail to users and are difficult to mail to the whole world. As a result, Loom Shell developed the first lighter that can be disassembled and assembled at any time. This way we can mail lighter parts all over the world. The users simply assemble it and fill gas. But we have a new problem. Temperatures and pressures vary around the world. The composition of different brands of lighter gas varies around the world. This results in a large difference in flame size. And Loom Shell requires that the lighter must be a small flame of about 1.2 cm. Because only a small flame can make natural tobacco fragrant and sweet. So we had to design a lighter that could infinitely adjust the size of the flame. There are many solutions to realize an infinitely adjustable flame size. But the solutions of infinitely adjusting the flame size are prohibited worldwide. So Loom Shell designed the first lighter with an infinitely adjustable flame. That complied with the world's regulations. But we have a new problem. How the loom shell prevents children from using it, keeping kids off tobacco. New type smoking devices all over the world are designed to be foolproof. It is very easy for children to use. But the loom shell has set an example for new type smoking devices around the world. We also designed the first lighter on human beings that not only children cannot ignite, but even many adults cannot ignite and must be put into the loom shell to ignite. Nowadays, all industries design their products to be foolproof in order to attract more users. But Loom Shell believes that the tobacco industry and the smoking device industry must put a childproof mechanism to their products. Loom Shell will definitely make a lot less money and even lose money because of this, but Loom Shell has its own insistence. The above is just a relatively simple part of the whole development process of Loom Shell. Every detail on the Loom Shell is a game changer. 